everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified on my next video. In this video, I will be sharing with you what's inside my cabin crew bag. Kung napanood nyo na ang previous videos ko, malamang alam nyo na na I have worked as a cabin crew and I know a lot of you are curious what's inside a cabin crew bag. I will answer your questions and your curiosity. And within the video, I will be answering questions that I have received through Instagram and Facebook. And wait, there's more! Since it's August and it's my birthday month, I will be giving away two special prizes to two winners. So if you're interested to win my special prize, please continue watching and don't forget to comment down the correct answer. Ta-da! Let's begin! So for today's video, I will just be showing you what's inside our knapsack and our small trolley. Dun, 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 dun. Disclaimer lang, um, I know a lot of you have already watched, or maybe you have already watched um, other What's Inside a Cabin Crew Bag video. Iba-ibang airline, iba-iba din ang mga kinakailangan, and for every crew, iba-iba din yung personal na dinadala. So, kung meron mang kulang, ikukabit ko na lang, or kung may sobra naman, yun yung preference. So, let's start. Pinakauna siguro papakita ko is, of course, flashlight. So, kailangan namin ng flashlight just in case we're gonna need it for emergency and this is a company issued flashlight and isang best lang kayo bibigyan so pag nawala mo siya or naiyon mo siya sa aircraft you have to buy your own replacement personal things muna tayo so I have my wallet of course I have your loose change my card and hindi ko napapakita kasi wala siya next my makeup retouch ano retouch pouch kasi yung dala ko dito is ano lang powder blush on lipstick and brush. So, pang retouch ko lang siya. Yung bigger pouch ko is nasa loob ng trolley. And I also bring with me extra pair of fur earring. Kasi I've tried or I have experienced before na pumasok ako na wala akong suot-suot na earrings. Buti na lang lagi akong may dalang spare. I also have with me my ano pang tawag ko dito? I just change pouch. So, ito meron akong small notebook. So, para sa mga sales ko to in flight. And then, this change, yun natin bibilang na. And coins, of course. Kailangan din ng coins. And, I also bring with me my reviewer. So, in case lang na pag masyado akong maaga sa briefing area, nagbabasa-basa ako. Of course, charger. And then, I have to be my Baroka. I love Baroka. This is not sponsored, pero, Baroka, recommend. I also have Stylex. So, ito yung ginagamit ko pang touch lang ng hair ng mga touching-touching natin dyan. And also, alcohol. Of course, gamit na gamit. And then, airpods. And also, I have band-aid. In case lang na magka-cuts or whatever. And then, nail polish. Ito, gamit na gamit to sa mga flu. Alam nila kung bakit. So, kailangan din natin ng ball pen. And of course, mga tita. Mga tita essential. So, hindi lang, dati hindi lang ito yung dala-dala ko. So, ito siya white flower. Para sa mga Pahit-pahit natin sa mga sakit ng ulo and pag-inaantok tayo, diba? So, with me, my rosary. Daladala ko to every time na may flight ako or lumalabas ako. Kahit yung mga ordinaryong lakad lang, I always have my rosary with me. Yun yung isang lesson na nila namin since pagkabata. Si mama talaga lagi niya sinasabi na always bring your rosary with you for protection. First is the chemical essentials. So, ito. Ito ang parang ticket or passport mo as a cabin crew. Hindi ka makakalipad kung wala ka. Hindi mo to dala every flight. So, ito, meron tayong competency card. Nakasulat dito yung hiring date. And, yung lahat ng trainees na pinagdaan ako. Hindi ko na siya tapakal ng sila. Tapos, I have your spare copy of the in-flight announcement guide. Hindi na ito yung ginagamit natin ngayon. This is, ano pa, as of March 15, 2019. So, hindi siya yung latest. And yung latest kasi namin na announcement is more on may mga alterations na siya specifically for the pandemic. So, huwag ka lang natin i-announce. Baka makorek tayo. Next is yung passport. So, I already have an old passport. Nag-expire na siya. And I have my new passport. Lastly is spare battery. So, kailangan namin siya for the flashlight. Basically, yun lang yung yaman ng akin. Yung laptop ko. Sa mapapansin nyo, yung mga dalawa ng sinapsa ko is yung mga gamit na gamit ko lang sa flight. Kasi easy to reach 
use lang yung knapsack namin. Unlike kasi sa trolley na kailangan namin siyang ilagay sa overhead bin or dun sa pinakalikod na part ng cabin. Okay. This is what I have inside my knapsack. Okay, so before proceeding to the small trolley, basta sabi ko sa inyo, sasagad ako ng mga tanong. So here we have a question from Art Ryan. Hi Art. So, benefits and salary daw. So, para iwas issue na lang, I will not disclose exact digits or amounts for the salary. But I will share with you, ano lang, benefits na na-enjoy ko. So, sa airline na pinagtrabahuan ko, maganda yung benefits namin. And per airline, iba kami ng benefits. So, it depends on the company. But for us, um, we have health insurance and we can enroll our dependents. Tapos, yung free of charge na travel for the dependents. So, mother, father, and siblings. A free of charge sila na travel or tickets for the whole year and that is equivalent to six round trip tickets for both domestic and regional or international flight. One question from my high school classmate, Eka Princess Abar, sabi niya, salary, haha, charo. Free ba ang pamasahin ninyo if mag-travel like personal vacation? Ayun nga, free of charge kami, especially kami. Pero for, ano, for the employee itself, it's unlimited. Unlimited yung travel namin. So, yun. Next question from Thea Lomotos. Your worst experience on board or as an FA? So, ito, ang hindi-hindi ko makakalimutan na experience ko. During my cycle days, my worst experience is nag-single engine landing kami. And, you know, Sebco, we operate the aircraft na ATR 72500. So, yun yung propeller type. So, kita-kita mo if gumagana yung isang engine or hindi. So, ganun yung nangyari sa amin. Kalipad ko nito is si Alexi, ibabaw, my batchmate. Take off lang namin from Cebu. Going to Busuanga kami. And suddenly, biglang nag-off lang yung left engine namin. And siya kasi yung nasa harap, ako yung nasa likod. And from sa likod, hindi mo makikita yung engines or yung propellers kasi. So, what she did is, nag-chime siya sa akin. Signal na siya ng ganun, ganun daw. Hindi ko may dinia. Eh, kasi wala kaming interphone for the 7500 aircraft. Wala kaming cabin interphone. So, hindi niya ako matawagan. Hindi, hindi naman siya pwede sumigaw kasi magpapanik yung mga pasero namin. So, what she did is, she tried her best to relay the message. And then, nung no, medyo nag-gets ko na, wala ko ng seatbelt, tinignan ko, and boom, boom, boom. Ay, nakita ko na yung left engine namin, or yung left propeller namin, hindi na siya gumagana. Boom! So, syempre, crew pa eh, hindi ka pwede magpanik. So, tawag kami, tawag kay Captain, Captain, yung left engine po, ganito, ganyan. Tapos, in-explain naman ni Captain, shoutout pala, Captain Chris Navarro. So, in-explain naman ni Captain na sa kanilang side kasi, nag-show na, ano tawag nito, um, engine of fire. Pero, reality, wala kaming fire, walang smoke, walang explosion ako. Hindi na lang. Thank you, Lord. So, what we did is, nag-announce si Captain, and lang kami pabalik ng Cebu. And, actually, yung pasahero namin, medyo nag-panic. Pero, syempre, as a crew, and ako yung lead ng flight na yun, kinalmahan ko lang doon, iyak na iyak na ako deep inside. So, three questions muna yung in-answer natin. And, eto na, para sa giveaway natin. My first question for our first giveaway is, if you have watched my previous video, can you tell me or can you comment down kung ano ang exact hiring date ko with month, day, and year. So, if you're the very first subscriber to comment, the correct answer, I will give you a private message and I will send you your prize. So I will be waiting. Moving on. Dun 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 dun. Ito na. We could share so English might be. Ito na ang aming cutie cutie small trolley for our regular flights. So disclaimer lang ulit, no? Iba iba tayo. Iba iba kami ng crew ng style ng pagbabalot ng or pagpapak ng aming trolley. And this is just my preference. So first, apron. So, nakagawian lang namin ipasok siya sa ziplock bag to avoid stains and mga creases para hindi siya ganun kagusot. Ayan, ginagamit namin siya in flight pag magsaservice na kami. Sinusood namin siya over hour before para pag may mga noodles, mga coffee na binitipla or ginagawa, hindi siya magsispill directly sa farm namin. Next is, ito na, my makeup bag, care of Maybelline. Maybelline, baka naman. <laughs> So, ito yung cabin shoes namin. So, kinalabas ko na yung isa. So, cabin shoes. Care of. Rockport. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, Rockport. Next. Ito na. Tadam! Brown clothes. 
So, run means remain overnight. So, ito yung run clothes ko. Ang required sa amin is kailangan meron kami dalang extra pair of uniform, extra blouse, and isang extra skirt, isang extra scarf, and of course, stockings for the girls. So, ito, I have my scarf, and then, I have this dress, and my underwear. So, mahilig ako sa mga, ano lang, parang, parang onesie, or yung hindi na siya pair, depends sa space. And I also have a romper with me, para yung pantulong ko, ganun. And then, one pair of underwear, top and bottom. Tapos, ito na siya, basically, ay yung maong skirt, tapos yung stockings, extra pair of stockings. I also like to have a very small bag. Ganun talaga siya, nakagawian ko na siya, or ito man, bag to bag. Yung foldable lang, na hindi madideform. Tapos, pag pinol out mo, ayun, magagamit mo. Meron din akong dala-dalang tuk. Pwede namin gamitin yung cabbage shoes namin pag nag-overnight kami. Pwede namin siya gamitin as run shoes. Pero ako, syempre, fashionista ang ating yun. May dala-dala akong slip-ons. Kaya nandito siya sa kaloob-loobang part ng Troy. Kasi may space pa siya yun. Ito na, mga personal toiletries ko. And, of course, importante ang ating skincare. So, ito, skincare and deodorant cotton pads, cotton buds, and supply. So, yun siya. Maliit lang yung trolley namin, pero kung kaya mo siyang ipirin yung space, mas maganda. Pero ako, okay na siyang jam pack. So, ayun, yun yung laman ng aking small trolley. And that's it for what's inside my cabin crew bag. So, for another round of question and answer portion. Wah, pageant. So, <laughs> uh, meron pa akong questions na na-receive. So, ito, from Edsel de la Cruz. Question niya is, naisipan mo bang lumipad ng ibang airline like PAL? And three reasons that made you stay in San Paco. Time na pagka-graduate ko, unemployed ako, hindi pa ako nag-work sa hotel. Nag-try akong mag-apply for PAL, pero hindi ako pumasa. Hindi ko alam ba? Okay. Uh, I tried one international airline. So, sibog sila nag-hiring, which is Qatar Airways. So, pumasa naman ako dun sa H. Tess, tapos, pero hindi na ako nakapot, nakabalik ng ito. After noon, hindi na ako nag-attend or maybe wala masyadong international airline na nag-recruitment dito sa Philippines or sa Manila or sa Cebu. So, ano, three reasons why I stayed. Benefits and salary, friendship or relationships, and workload. So, maybe yun yung top three reasons why I stayed with Cebu Pacific. And next question is from Irma. Yung feeling whenever may sobrang lupit na turbulence. Yung supervisor na nag-check sa akin, kasi biglang mag tapos ako yung mag-service and all, biglang mag-turbulence, so nag-seat out sa ikon. Eh ako, si Sobrang Tarantula, eto na, dali-dali ako bumalik sa upuan ko, tapos nag-seat out ako. Tapos so, yung tapos na yung turbulence, pinagutin niya ako sa likod, sabi niya, MJ, takot ka sa turbulence, no? Sabi niya, sabi ko, yes, pumi, so, sabi niya, kasi nakita niya daw sa mukha ko, and dun ko natutunan kung paano i-control, kasi sabi niya, comment niya is, dapat I should keep a straight face, or smiling face, smiling face lang, though it's killing you inside. Later on, parang makakasanayan mo na lang din siya. And pag regular passenger ka na din, parang normal na lang talaga siya. Siguro nasagot ko naman yung tanong, di ba? Then, last question is from Sir Jean Rowe sa Avedra. I miss you, Sir Jean. Tanong niya is, expenses ng female cabin. So, Sir Jean, sorry, wala akong may bibigay na exact amount. Pero siguro aabot siya mga 800-700 a month? Or kung masyado kang kikay, like pero siguro 1,000-1,500. And for my last question para sa ating birthday giveaway, if you have seen my previous video, and if you have not, please do watch it. So, kung napanood nyo yung previous video ko, ang tanong ko, ilang beses ako nag-apply for cabin crew position sa Cebu Pacific? If you know the answer, comment down below, and the first one to comment with the correct answer will win the prize. Alright, so... I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Again, thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Comment down what would you like to see on my next video. So once again, thank you so See you on my next vlog.